90 day program has a number of steps, but the first thing you must know is that it is not like a diet or an exercise regimen. What is our, what is our little saying that we like? If it isn't easy and it isn't fun, it isn't QE. So the 90 day program has to be easy and it has to be fun. Otherwise, you're not doing it. Okay, that's the first thing. All right, so now how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing is to do QE as often as you think about it. But that doesn't mean that you have to sit down, close your eyes, and cross your legs, and mumble a few things. No. How do we do it? Come aware of you feeling. One, two seconds. Let it go and watch it to see what happens. Okay? That's it. So you've got two seconds or so involved in it. You can do it driving, talking, cooking, working. Now that you know refined QE, you can do it automatically. And do it every time you think of it. Now, to remind yourself in the beginning, the first few days, you can put up sticky notes, you know. Put it on your bedpost, you can put it on, on the, uh, the mirror in your bathroom, on the, on the dash of your car. And what do you write on it? Nothing, exactly. To remind you to do nothing. To have fun with this thing. Now, that you'll do every time you think of it, and maybe later you have to move them to different places or do other things to remind you, but pretty soon, it'll become natural. That when there's a little break, or when there's even a little stress, you'll say, oh, I'm feeling a little uneasy. Oh, you feel it. So do it as often as you think of it. Do it now. Become aware of you feel it. Watch it. Let it go. Done. Isn't that a nice pause? <coughs> you? Do at least three sessions a day of five minutes or so where you close your eyes, learn how to do QE intention by reading the book, or just do a remote QE uh, or something like that with eyes closed. Five minutes, I'd say minimum. And do it first thing in the morning. Maybe you just sit right up in bed and do it. And then go about your day. Then last thing at night is really great. You just sit up in bed, do a, do a remote or QE intention, and slip right down in bed and have a nice, beautiful night's sleep. And somewhere between the, the day, you know, you can. You can uh, do it at lunch hour, or, or when, as soon as you get home from work. Like that. Sit down, close the eyes, experience you feeling however you want to do it, self-QE, however you want to do it. Do as many different kinds of QE as you like. Mix them up. Remote. Uh, there's uh, financial QE, there's kids QE, there's self QE, there's remote QE. They're all basically the same, but you're just creating different. Remember I said when you get in the bathtub and after a while it feels the same and then you move and make waves? Well, that's different forms of QE. It's just simply making waves on you feeling. This gives you a chance to see it from different perspectives. <coughs> it very quickly broadens it. Do as many sessions as you can. Give QE away. Give it away. If you have a problem, oh my, oh poor me. Well, don't just sit around and do self-QE. Give QE away. Do a QE for somebody else. You know you don't need permission to do it because you're not doing anything to them or for them. You're simply just doing QE. You'll get more out of it. Remember, when you do QE with another person, the N squared effect. Force. So, give it away. Do it on as many different people or things. Do it for politicians, for people that you barely know, for your enemies, not for, but with them, right? Do it for, with rocks and, and animals and trees. Literally go out and hug your tree. Oh, I'm going to make you eat. <laughs> also, 
take time to read at least a paragraph out of a QE book every day. It could even be the same paragraph every day, but uh, just take a few moments to read out of it. That's going to reorient you, your, your psychology, your intellect, actually. Because it is the understanding and the experience that, that gives us the full knowledge. And so you always want a little bit more structure, <coughs> a theoretical or even philosophical structure, to go with the experiences that you're having. So when you have an experience, you won't even notice, and then you read something in the book and say, oh, that's why that's happening. Okay? And remember the five natural healing uh, elements. One, exercise. Make sure you're getting your exercise. And I don't mean you have to get into a full-fledged exercise program. For you, an exercise might be you know, walking around the block or walking out to get the mail or something like that. But just get enough exercise where your body's moving. That'll help that healing to take place. It'll help that reorganization. Get yourself some fresh air and some uh, fresh water inside and bathe in it as well. Proper food, not too heavy, not, whatever's right for you. Sometimes we listen to other people tell us what's right. We eat what makes you work. All right? And you know better than anyone. So eat the foods that are good for you and rest. Very important. Of course, QE is the deepest rest. But then you also need to make sure that you're sleeping enough hours and you're getting your dreaming in. Okay? So take care of yourself in every way. Now, as you do this, as you continue to just do these simple things, there's a lot to do, so you don't have to do everything every day. You do have to make fun of it. Make it enjoyable. And as you do that, and you'll find yourself looking for, oh, you know what? Today I don't feel like sitting up and, and doing my QE for five minutes in bed. I'm just getting out of here today. I'm going to do some remote on the way to work. Or I'm going to do mix it up, play with it, have fun, make it alive, make it yours. This is a, these are suggestions. And the more the the main thing is becoming aware of you feeling is what's going to make the change. Mind wants difference, it wants change. So give it whatever it wants. But in the end, every time you come to you, you feel. And what you'll find is, as the days go by, you won't even be looking for it, things will happen that you weren't even aware of. And that's how you know it's working, because you didn't know this needed fixing, and all of a sudden, that part of you is good. Emotionally, physically, Relationships, finances, they all start to fall in line for you. The magnet comes to the iron filings and it all lines up. You feeling comes to the situations in your life and they all start to line up. It's really a remarkable process. I'm encouraging you to spend that time, just 90 days. Think about it. Take your age and multiply it by four. That's a about how many 90-day periods you have had in your life. Just add one more and think of what you can do. Think of how you can affect your life.